Uprising. We welcome you to today's show, and ask those of you who have not subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and the ushering in of the Antichrist. Today's show, I want to talk about a new music video by Pink. Yes, Pink. Apparently, she's still alive. She must have made some type of sacrifice to get her name pushed back into the limelight. And I want to point out why I do these videos, why I continue to do these music videos and expose them, because a lot of people message me, and trust me, I know from life experience trying to wake people up. I get so many messages every day of people asking me, how can I wake them up? How can I wake them up? It is a process. There's people who are so far down the rabbit hole and advanced in this, such as myself and others out there, and then there's people that just need to see it from a standpoint of, wow. I didn't realize how obvious it was. And when you expose these false idols and these music videos, you see the same symbols over and over and over. You see the connection to the Freemasons. You see the connection to Satanism. You see the connection to all of these programs, such as the MK Ultra Monarch, mind, mind Control Programming. Everything is all connected to one another. And today's show, I wanted to expose the new Pink video, Just Like Fire. It is from the new Alice in Wonderland movie, Alice Through the Looking Glass. You'll see the same basic symbols as most of you. If you don't already know, I've gone over this over and over. All of these musicians are a part of this, of the Illuminati, of the Satanic, the Synagogue of Satan. They are a part of this Satanic worship that goes on in the music industry in Hollywood. They only make it there because of that. As you can tell when you listen to people like Pink Sing, it sounds like somebody, you know, scratching their hands against a chalkboard. You've seen Pink throw up the, you know, the devil horns, do all the basic symbols. But I really want to point out this video because, as most of you probably know, if you don't, Alice in Wonderland is one of the top MK Ultra mind control programs that they've used, such as other Disney films and The Wizard of Oz and things like that that they use to program these mind control slaves. So Alice in Wonderland, that's why you keep seeing it reproduced over and over and over and over, is because they continue to use the programming that works. They know it works on children. They know it's a gateway into magic and all of that stuff. So let's start with the basic symbols. You see the Masonic floors, as always, once again. First, you see them in red and white, okay, which is symbolic. They will use the red and white from time to time, but you'll also see it in black and white. Okay, I just did a video two days ago. I did a video a week ago. I did a video two weeks ago. If you go through all of the videos that I've done, on these artists exposing them you will see the black and white tile it is is it a coincidence are you telling me that people love black and white tiles or is it a coincidence that it is the tiles found inside the masonic lodges that is an homage to freemasonry okay it's part of their belief system and duality as above so below that their good deeds outweigh their bad deeds so you see the masonic floors once again plain sight right there they're not hiding anything from you or are you going to tell me that a video that came out two days ago with j-lo and a video that came out, you know, excuse me, a video two days ago J-Lo did that has the black and white floors. That's a coincidence that Pink has the same thing two days later. Oh, are you going to tell me there's something to do with Alice in Wonderland, that it's a coincidence? Okay, now let's go back and look at some of these other artists and go through it with Beyonce or whoever else. They all use it, okay? It is paying homage to the Freemasonry, the Freemasons, the Freemasonry that runs this satanic society, these people who are indoctrinated through the Freemason lodges that become Satanists, that realize, excuse me, that learn and are told as they go through this. Uh, you know, through, through these degrees of masonry that they are indeed gods amongst us, that Lucifer is the true God, not our Father in Heaven, that Lucifer reigns, and that they are gods amongst us, and they should rule over us. Okay, that's why you see the Masonic floors always and constantly. They believe that it's the duality with the floor, okay, gives them balance. All this garbage, I've talked about it over and over. It's not a coincidence. It's there once again. You also can see the Masonic pillars in the background behind pink, the basic Masonic pillars that you'll find you know, in all the Freemason lodges. Then, what a coincidence, again, you'll see the monarch butterfly flying around the whole video chasing after the monarch butterfly, showing you that Pink is a MK Ultra monarch butterfly program slave, and she always has been. Okay, it's not a coincidence there. You'll see it in every video. Katy Perry, so many of the people I've exposed is constantly showing butterflies. They don't have a fetish for but butterflies, people. Okay, don't tell me they're trying to be artistic. If they're trying to be artistic, then they would probably do something original. Okay, so why are they doing everything the same? Why do they use all the same symbols? Oh, okay, it must be a big coincidence. If you go through your life believing in coincidences, they are going to walk over you. And before you know it, your soul is going to end up going to hell because you bought into this stuff, because you got lukewarm in your faith and you forgot about Jesus Christ, and you started worshiping these false idols who are indoctrinating you with this satanic, masonic lifestyle. So wake up and get hot in your faith and stop thinking that these things are a coincidence because they're not. 
Okay, then you see the mirrors. You talked about mirrors and what they symbolize. Shatter glass, obviously symbolizing MK Ultra programming and the altars that they create inside someone's mind. The mirrors in general are portals and gateways used in witchcraft. A lot of witches warn against using mirrors because it is so dangerous. They bring entities over through mirrors. You can see this child going through the mirror. Ooh, looks like fun. All the moms will say, oh, that's cute. It's fantasy land. It is witchcraft. It is occultic. They use mirrors. They summon demons in mirrors. Half of these people who do this demonic possession are on record as saying that they can't even look in mirrors. And people hear that and they say, well, that's because they're just, you know, they don't want to sound like they're egotistical. They literally can't because they have them demons inside of them and they can see the demons through the mirrors. Okay, this is basic witchcraft. They summon demons through the mirrors. You can see pink here and this poor child going right through the mirror. And again, witches warn against using mirrors when they practice black magic because it is so such a dangerous practice. And they summon, they can summon very dangerous demonic presences through these mirrors. But you'll see it again, mirrors. And I know somebody say, the mirrors are there because that's part of the Alice in Wonderland theme. Uh, this is mind control. That's why the mirrors are there. Okay, the Alice in Wonderland is one of the top MK Ultra mind control films that they use on the nation. They continue to use it over and over, not because it's a great, amazing film, because they remake all of these movies, because the programming that they created inside of these movies has worked. The witchcraft has worked. They've indoctrinated uh, generation after generation with the same programming. That's why The Wizard of Oz gets remade. That's why Alice in Wonderland gets remade. That's why Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, all of these movies are remade, okay? And people go, why are they remaking it? The original is so much better. Because they want to get the next generation of children to watch this. They don't care about you who've seen it before. They're not making it for, so you can watch it again and say, oh, I like the original better. It's to indoctrinate the next group of children because they know that the programming and the mind control inside of it works. That's why they don't change it. Okay? You'll see more of the black and white clothing. You'll see the black and white on pink, the duality. Everybody's dressed in black and white. Then you'll see levitating going on you'll see pink levitating at this table okay you see her up in the air i know people say well that's just oh more cute stuff obviously levitation is a part of magic it is a huge part of magic they actually summon satan himself to levitate satan is the prince of the air okay satan is the prince of the air these magicians and stuff that actually can levitate they summon satan there's ex-magicians that have been quoted as talking about summoning satan so that they could actually levitate. You see it in all these videos, and moms out there and dads out there think it's cute and it's quirky and they're too busy to care as they indoctrinate children with this wanting to levitate, wanting to be a part of witchcraft. It looks like fun. The next thing you know, you have you know, your children go from watching Mickey Mouse, thinking that it's great and nice, and then when they're 18, the parents go, what went wrong? What did we do wrong? Other than let the school system raise our children and, you know, these TV shows, but they never look back and realize it because they refuse to believe in witchcraft. They refuse to believe in Satanism. And this is just more stuff. And here's here you go with Pink falling out of the chair as she's levitating. And look at this. What a coincidence. Falling from the heavens all the way down to the earth. I just did a, the, the video I, got, I did that got taken down because of a copyright strike, which you know, went away. I think her name was Rexa. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, and I'm not going to pause it to go look it up right now because I'm on a roll. <laughs> but uh, she, you know, she had that falling angel theme going on too. Most of these musicians have it. They just will randomly, you know, they'll be in a club talking about drinking or whatever, and then you'll see them falling from the sky. This is making reference to the fallen angels. This is making reference to Satan. So you have Pink falling from the sky falling down and then of course levitating before she hits the ground because satan is the prince of the air and he's held to keep her up okay all of this satanic symbols you can even see they show a demon in the video if you pause it fast enough and i don't care if somebody wants to say it's a character in the movie they actually show a dragon okay it looks like a dragon coming from the pit you see pink end up getting locked up because she's crazy but, you know more symbolism as far as this you know mind control programming that she's under but in reality she should be locked up all of these people should be locked up you can even look at the lyrics of the song. I mean, the lyrics just flat out tell you what's going on. She says she's running out of time. I want it all. Mm -hmm. This is stuff they let the children listen to because this is a children's movie. I know that I'm running out of time. I want it all. Kids want it all. Everyone wants it all. They want the treasures and the materialistic things of this earth. But I got news for Pink. Time is running out for you. Time is running out for all of your fellow Satanists. Okay? She says below, she says, we came here to run it, run it, run it just like fire burning out the way i mean unbelievable they just constantly talk about this stuff reference this stuff fire falling from you know you have fall the fallen angels running out of time fighting back against stuff then she says just like magic i'll be flying free talking about magic 
you know, I did a video, if you haven't seen it, go, go look it up. It's, it's somewhere in my library about magic. It's just hilarious. I just read how many music albums or songs are just entitled magic. And there's so many that I had to actually stop the video. But people don't look at they don't go, wait a minute, yeah, why is everybody talking about magic? Is magic real? Oh, because they've created, you know, dual meanings to words like magic. So if people think it means falling in love and all of this stuff, they're f- f- telling you in plain sight what they do, what they practice. The Bible tells you about these people who practice magic and sorcery and these psychics and all of this stuff. And Jesus warns to stay away. We read about in Revelation what happens to these people. There's not just one verse about it. It's in the Bible over and over. Okay, we see, you know, we know Jesus performed exorcisms because these people were demonically possessed. You know, this isn't a coincidence. I mean, this isn't the real deal. I mean, it might sound funny. It might, I know people come over and they just go, this is crazy. I'm going to subscribe because you're crazy. Go ahead. I don't care. You know, when this all ends, you'll see how, you know, you were warned. But this is to help other people who, you know, can't wake up. Look at these signs over and over. Do you really believe in that many coincidences going on over and over and over? And another thing I wanted to mention, too, which is absolutely ridiculous. Pink has another video. It's called Just Like a Pill. It's a much older video, but I just wanted to mention this because I never did an expose on her because, I mean, is she even relevant? I didn't know anyone even cared about her. I didn't even know she was still around, but the fact that she's, you know, she's back in the limelight with a song that's directed at children, I mean, it has to be exposed. Parents cannot allow their children to watch and look at this stuff and get indoctrinated with this witchcraft and Satanism because it's absolutely revolting. Okay, and this, this human being slash demon pink is revolting and it's sickening. But she has this song called Just Like a Pill. And I wanted to point out, I have screenshots above. When I did an interview with Zachary King, okay, which I still haven't finished airing the rest because my channel had the, the copyright strike, but I will air it. And on air and off air, we talked about some things about when he was a high wizard because he became a high wizard in Satanism. And, you know, we were talking about it. It was a very serious conversation because I don't take this stuff lightly. But, you know, to learn about this stuff, you have to hear it as sick as it makes you to your stomach. And I actually started laughing because he told me that, you know, when he traveled, I asked him a, just a really random question about, you know, what do you wait? Like, what do you even, because he was saying that, you know, the, the elitists were flying him first class to all of these different places, such as Bohemian Grove, to perform, you know, magic rituals and, and stuff like that. And I was like, they're flying you first class and all this stuff. I'm like, and he was like, yeah, and I had to run right to the ceremony. So I was like, what are you, like, in a suit or something like that? And he would tell, he was telling me what they wore. And, uh, he, you know, he said, well, we were, you know, I painted my face and I wore a top hat. And uh, he actually sat on an airplane dressed like this. And I was laughing because I thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. Because if I was on a plane and saw that, I don't even know what I would do. Now that I know of this stuff and know about high wizards and Satanism through learning about these awful, you know, disgusting people, I, mean, I don't know what I would do. But anyway, he was telling me about you know, how they dress and what the high wizard had to wear and what his qualifications were and what his duties were. And he told me, he said, uh, you know, because I was only envisioning this. He said, you ever see the pink video? And I was like, no, I mean, obviously not. I don't follow that crap. He said, go look up this video. He's like, I paused at this point. And I looked at, you know, at the guy. And that's the picture you see above. He said, this is what high wizards wear. And he goes, and this guy, this actual guy in the video is a real life high wizard. They were in the satanic covens, in the satanic circles. They fly him in and he does rituals and seances and performs, you know, some of these uh, abortion sacrifices, which is that just absolutely makes your stomach turn. And this is what the guy wears. And I confirmed it with somebody else that I talked to. I said, Do you ever hear about this high, you know, this high wizard and what they wear? They said, Oh, yeah, that guy's a high wizard. So this guy in Pink's video is a high wizard, a guy who has performed satanic rituals. He's not an actor. And even if he, you can somehow find an IMDb, I'm telling you, this guy is not an actor. He is a high wizard in Satanism. I know it sounds absolutely ludicrous. When you hear my interview, the rest of my interview, Zachary King, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll just be like, wow. You know, because you don't think about this stuff. You don't think about what are these people wearing. You know, we think about, yes, how dark and awful this stuff is. And then, you know, when you try to think of day-to-day life, because I'm thinking in my head, like, where, how does this guy getting on a, you know, they're flying in first class to Bohemian Grove, you know, all the way to Northern California, San Francisco, then taking him up in a limo, but he's got to get there in time to do the ritual. And I'm just like, what do you change? What do you wear when you do these rituals? And he's explaining this stuff to me. And I'm, I just blew, blew my mind. Like, this is exactly what they look like. So this is what a high wizard looks like. They wear this top hat and this black gown. And I think he's actually writing a book. And he said you know, his picture of him dressed as the high wizard will be on the cover. And I'm not giving a cheap plug. I'm just telling you if you ever want to see it because I'm not making this story up. Um, he, 
you know, he pointed out that this guy was an actual live wizard. And I, I thought it was unbelievable at, at first, but, you know, I, I'm not questioning it. I've, I've talked to another source that told me the same thing, whose name I'm not giving out. But, uh, you know, so here, here's Pink with a high wizard performing an actual ritual. You can see him with his wand, too, in, in her video here. Uh, what is it called again? Just a pill? Uh, just like a pill. So you can see all the connections between Pink and Satanism. Obviously, if you're somebody out there who just goes, well, well I find a lot of this stuff far-fetched. Well, how about just using this? as you know your argument is she couldn't be less talented her voice is bad and i don't judge musicians or any of this so i could care less but you look at this hack her songs i mean this is just come on i mean give me a break you don't think that she's making a deal now she's brought back in the limelight why do you think these people come and go you know pink hasn't been relevant in 10 years now she's back in the limelight that's how this stuff works you know she got back you know it's like if you're not making the right sacrifices if you're not doing what they ask you to do like you fade away go into obscurity Obviously, a lot of these people can't live without the spotlight, can't live without the fame. They're obsessed with it. They live for it. Just the same way that we live for Jesus Christ, and we love Jesus Christ with all our heart and all our soul. That's how they feel about money, fame, worshiping Satan, and they'll do whatever they can to obtain it. So this is just big. This video blatantly obvious. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll just re recap all of the stuff that I pointed out. You get the black and white tiles, the Masonic floors. You get them both in red and white, and then you get the black and white, the duality, which is over the top, obvious. You get the Masonic pillars. You get, the, obviously, the Alice in Wonderland theme. I know it's based on the movie, but still, the MK Ultra Mind Control Program. And you get the Monarch Butterfly randomly flying around. You get the mirrors, right, the portals for these witches. They use the mirrors to summon demonic presences. You get more black and white clothing. You get the levitating, of course, which represents Satan, the Prince of Air. You get them, her falling from heaven, falling from the sky randomly. And, of course, before hitting the ground, is saved by Lucifer. You know, she doesn't hit the ground. She levitates up. And, you know, you'll just see other pictures of her doing the devil horns and all of that stuff. And like I said, the lyrics are satanic. And you can look at this guy, this high priest that, you know, was involved in another one of her videos. And you can, you, I know, if you don't want to believe, you don't have to. I'm not trying to mislead anybody here, uh, you know, and say, uh, you know, I mean, like, I've never met this guy who's the high wizard in this video. But I'm just telling you, based on my conversation with Zachary King, and you could say maybe you don't trust him, that's fine. But I'm pointing it out. This is what high wizards, at least they look like and dress. And from what I've been told from two sources, that this guy is an actual high wizard in Satanism and does perform these rituals. And they do bring him in. And in this video, she was performing a ritual on the audience with the high wizard. So if you're somebody who watched it, you, you had a spell put on you. So I wanted to point that out. All right, thank everybody for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. And may peace be with all of you. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today.